A very good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. A student, today I have a video for you on note making from reading section. But first of all, let us see its marking pattern. Students in class 11, note making question is of 8 marks, out of which 5 marks are there for note making and 3 marks are given for summarizing the passage. The students in note making marks distribution is like this. One mark is for title. Next one mark is allotted for correct numbering and indenting. And one mark is for key to abbreviation and for note making there are two marks students in summary two marks are con are of content and one mark is for expression respectively a student now the question arises what is a note so a student a note is a brief record of points and ideas which are written down as an aid to memory students next point is how note making helps us so while making notes students we do not simply read the passage or listen to speech but we consider various points made by the writer or speaker and draw our own inferences about what is being presented so in this way students note making help us in understanding the passage in a better way and organizing our thoughts systematically student now let us know what are the characteristics of good notes so student it should be short and compact and uh, they should all have the important and relevant information contained in the passage students and student the information should be systematically divided and subdivided and student they should be written in points not full sentences so they should be put one below the other and they should numbered properly now let us see the format of a note making students as far as format is concerned first of all there is title and students you must write the title which should state the majority of the passage talks about students we have to see what is the main theme of the passage and the title students should have at least four to five words and it should always be underlined right so this should be the characteristics of the title students now student we have to divide the whole passage into three or four paragraphs and students we have to pick up one subheading we have to pick up student one main heading from each paragraph we have divided students and students main heading of every paragraph should be numbered as one two three now student what happens there are some points which we have to keep in mind like there shouldn't be any verbs or articles or pronouns verbs like is am are or was were shouldn't be there in our note making pronouns like uh, he she it they and articles like a and the 
must be omitted to make it shorter and students see the right minimum three main heading followed by three subheading or maximum four main headings can be given do not write the students too many subheadings and we have to write phrases not complete sentences that is not grammatical marks are not cut in note making students a student main heading is divided into subheadings if a main heading is numbered as 1 then then subheading can be numbered as 1.1 and if you can you can further divide it into sub subheading like 1.1.1 or 1.1.2 like this only right student now let us see the difference between main heading and subheading students main heading reflects the main theme of the passage whereas subheadings point out how it has been developed now student we if passage is there before us of note making first of all we have to read the passage provided and then students we have to underline the important sentences it helps us to make headings and subheadings then students we have to make a rough note first so as to get an idea and then we have to organize all these words and sentences in logical orders only then student key to abbreviation is there when we are writing a key to abbreviation we have to make a box students and students while uh, making notes using abbreviation and symbol help in saving time students and space so there are different ways to abbreviate long or complicated words like using the initials of two or more words like for example united states is there so we can write down un etc we can use the first few letters of the words like the, if the word construction is there so we can write down like this c o n s t also and student we can remove the vowels also from the words like reading if there for example the word reading is there so re how can reading can be written how can reading the word reading be written uh, r a d i n g is the spelling of the word and it can be written like r d n g for instance the word is books b double o k s so it can be written like b k s students uh, a minimum of four abbreviations should be used and then as far as writing summary is concerned the student first of all summary should be in the one tenth of the total uh, passage word limit one tenth for instance if the total word limit of passage is 800 words so the summary should be in 80 words only and there are some other points which we have to keep in mind like summary should uh, make um, should the summary should be made out of notes and not the passage right means we have to make summary of important main heading and subheadings only and a student we don't have to divide summary in different paragraphs and we don't have to use abbreviation while writing summary students we have to write complete grammatically correct sentences in summary students so this is how uh, note making can be written students for instance this uh, one example is there before us and here this uh, letter red letter words are important points 
and on these important points only student further later you can see this uh, main heading and subheadings have been made the topic of this uh, passage is self medication and main heading is also self medication and students a b c d are subheadings in the same manner students technological advancement in medicine is the second main heading wherein and this advancement word has been written in abbreviation like advm nt right and then the it is followed by three subheadings third main heading is clever advertising by formal companies and then three subheadings like this in the same manner fourth one fourth main heading and here one two three four five five subheadings are there and here you can see student key to abbreviation a box is there and seven abbreviations have been used and lastly summary of the passage is there which is very compact very brief right it seems to be into the one tenth of the total passage word limit so hope you have understood it thank you class